What's up, homie? So, there's a new... Well, it's not really new. But, this event is going away tomorrow, I think. And one day in five hours. Hold on, let me get my charger. Because my phone is dead. Alright, right, so, let's talk about this event. So, this event, essentially, is probably the greatest event they have ever done. Like, ever. This event is insane. So, let's talk about why it's created. So, as you can see here, you get all these orbs. This is the, I think this is the orb of confusion. This is ceiling orbs. They have paralysis orbs. You know, you just basically get all the things that you need to make your character OP. So, you know how I have seal resistance and stuff? I'll show you my characters. So... See, my six paths, he's double resistance. So he is 100% seal resistance and 100% confusion resistance, which is pretty good, you know what I mean? That's fantastic. And then let's look at my Sakura. She has 100% seal resistance. And then my Minato, another 100% seal resistance. Okay, see? See what I mean? So that's great because when they're in defense, they cannot be sealed, obviously and it makes your defense stronger. It just makes your character a lot stronger in the long run. Like, health builds are good and all, but they're not as good as, you know, having seal resistance or confusion resistance and stuff like that. So, the reason, like, back to the event. So the reason I was talking about this event is because, like I said, it gives you all these orbs and stuff. So you wanna make sure to get this done Play it as much as you can. I would really recommend using stones, but that's up to you. If you don't want to use stones, don't, but at least consume your entire stamina bar before this goes away. At least play this event a couple times because it's very valuable. And I don't know if it's coming back, you know what I mean? This is probably the greatest event they've ever had. And the drop rates aren't horrible. They're a lot better than the, the mission on Sunday. The drop rates on there are pretty bad. This one has like way better drop rates and you get an Uchi Uchiha tool. Let me see. Yeah, I think you get an Uchiha tool. Where the hell is that? Um, right here, this thing. The Uchiha amulet. You can make a bunch if you play this event. See, I have max. I can't hold any more of those little scrolls. So I can make a bunch of the Uchiha amulets, but it's a good tool. If you don't have a lot of OP tools, it's a pretty, you know, decent free-to-play tool. If, like I said, if you want to use any of these characters, these characters aren't insane, but, I mean, they, they're still usable. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to make this too long. So, play this event. You only got like a day and five hours or something. Let me check. Give you the exact. Yeah, you got a day and five hours. So make sure you get this done. It's really important that you get this done if you want your account to be a little bit stronger. And like I said, I recommend, if you have instant achieve, it's really easy. Just do it, 10 stamina. I'm not gonna do it because, you know, I'm chilling. I'll show you my orbs right now, and then we'll wrap it up. Where is it at? Just random tool. Okay, this is my ceiling. See, I have max, so I'm chilling. I'm going to be saving these orbs because um, I think um, Kakashi's going to come. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling Kakashi and Obito are the next roundup. And if I pull Kakashi, I'm going to pull Kakashi because I'm going to summon until I get him. That's my favorite character. So if they give us a DMS Kakashi and he's busted, definitely summoning. And I'm going to make him see resistant. So, yep, that's enough of that. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you, you know, taking time out of your day to watch it. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. And, um, yeah, well, I'm out of here, dude. Peace out, homies.